Christy Classified and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I got this Valentine's Day glam look using the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette. This is still available on Morphe brushes. If you haven't gotten your hands on it, I highly suggest you do. It is limited edition and you can use the code Kathleen Lights to get some money off. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching and before this video drags on forever, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start off this look, I'm going to use my Sephora eyeshadow primer. I know I'm not using Concealer. Now, this isn't one of my favorite primers, but it was one that I haven't used in a while, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and set that using not the color I'm pointing at, but I'm going to use a bone white color above it using a fluffy concealer brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to powder that up to set it for our eyeshadow. Now, I'm going to take this camel color and I'm going to use a fluffy crease brush from crown brush and I'm going to blend this out really concentrating it on my outer corner to make it darker but blending it out to a lighter shade everywhere else now I'm going to go in with the two bone colors I'm first going to take the matte one on this small flat brush from Urban Decay and I'm just going to highlight the brown bone with this and then I'm going to take the shimmer shade and I'm actually going to take the bigger fluffier side to blend that along my brow bone and I'm adding a little bit more to the other side. I can't get the baby. And I'm just going to take that same transition shade and blend everything out so that there aren't any harsh lines and it blends out seamlessly. Now I'm going to take that cranberry shade on that same brush and I'm going to apply this more directly into the crease. And once again, concentrating it to be darker on the outer V. Now I'm going to take this deep cranberry shade and I'm going to take a blending brush, blending fluff from Crown Brush. Oh my gosh, you guys. And I'm just going to apply this to my outer V and midway into the crease just to add some depth into the eye. And I'm going to smooth everything out with my pointed crease brush from Crown Brush. If you watch my videos, you know this is my favorite brush to smooth everything out with. I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer in the shade light and I'm going to use this to carve out the inner lid and I'm going to use my Basanti concealer brush and I'm not going all the way through on the lid, I'm just going halfway through and smoothing that out. Now it's okay if it's not perfect, we will use shadows to fix this. Now I'm going to take the ColourPop Ultra Shock Shadow, Super Shock Shadow, oh my gosh, in the shade Weenie, and I'm just patting this on with my fingertip onto the lid, and then I'm going to take the Super Shock Shadow in Get Lucky and apply it right on top to get a really pretty rose gold effect. Now I'm going to take that, trans, that crease color and smooth everything out so that there's harsh lines and go back in with that deeper cranberry color and smooth things out further and add more definition. Now to move on to the face. So this whole thing is out of focus and I'm so sorry, but I'm going to prime my face with the Pure Cosmetics Prime Correcting Primer. I really love this primer because it automatically smooths out the skin and it has really nice shimmers in it to reflect the sunlight beautifully on the skin. Now I'm going to take my Art Deco Light Lifting Hydrating Foundation and I'm going to apply it all over with the Beauty Blender. This was sent to me by Art Deco and it's easily become one of my favorite foundations. It has a really dewy finish without getting too oily throughout the day. I absolutely love it. It is a medium coverage but definitely buildable. Now I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Illuminating Concealer for the under eye and I'm going to concentrate this just on the inner corners of my eyes where my dark circles are more profound and I'm going to apply this with my Basanti concealer brush and I am patting, not rubbing this in because this concealer does settle into lines and pores and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender. 
Now I'm gonna take my new Milani Perfection Retouch and Perfect Concealer. It is one of my favorites that I received at Gen Beauty. It is new to Milani. I'm just highlighting the areas that I would normally highlight, my under eyes, my nose, my forehead, my cupid's arrow, my chin. Um, a little goes a long way with this concealer and it does not crease. It looks so beautiful on the skin. Definitely a must try for a drugstore concealer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that I lost a clip of this video. So I baked my under eye using the Art Deco High Definition Setting Powder. And while that is going on, I am now contouring my face with Bahama Mama from The Bomb. And I am using a Morphe M404 brush, I believe. And I am just carving out my nose and my cheeks and really buffing that into the hollows, bringing it up to my temples and my hairline, just to really define the face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out so there is no harsh lines using my beauty blender. I'm dusting off that bake now with my e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face using my Invaluable Pro Matte Foundation and this Jumbo Morphe stippling brush. I can't remember the number right now. But it is so soft and so make to apply powder with. Now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Soule bronzer and I'm gonna take this Morphe stippling brush. It's like a slimmer version and I'm going to just warm up my face with the bronzer. my cheeks and use that same Art Deco setting powder to really define the contour. And this sponge actually came from my Milani, uh, not my Milani, oh my gosh, my L'Oreal um, Pro Matte Powder and I kept it because I love to use it for baking. It picks up the setting powder so amazingly. Now I'm going to take the NYX Tame End Frame and I'm going to tame and frame my eyebrows using the Anastasia um, Angled Brush. This came in a kit that I got and it has become my only grill brush. It's the only one I will use on my brows. brush from e.l.f. I'm going to apply this to the outer corner of my water corner of my waterline and then I'm going to go ahead and take that lighter cranberry shade and do the same. Finally I'm going to take Get Lucky and using that same brush after I cleaned it off I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eyes and drag it down to the inner corner of my waterline just to really open up the eye and have a nice sparkle on the inside. Now I'm going to take my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I can't talk today, you guys. You all know that this is one of my favorite mascaras. It really lengthens, volumizes, like it does everything. So I absolutely love it. It is my holy grail mascara. I'm just going to apply this all over. Finally, I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Casting Lights Collaboration Highlight and I'm going to use all three shades and I'm going to use this contour brush from Crown Brush to apply the highlight. I love it because it's so compact, it picks up so much product so it's amazing for highlighting the face. Now one of my favorite things to do is to, after pat it down with a beauty blender, I feel like it gives it so much of a more beautiful sheen to the highlight. Finally, I'm gonna go in on my lips and I'm gonna use my La Dade Cosmetics Matte Lip. This is in the shade Electrifying. When I first did this look, I mixed it in with Love Spell, but Love Spell is currently missing. So I went ahead and just used Electrifying on the lips. It is a very beautiful mauve purple shade.
Well, that's the end of this video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed this cute little look that I created. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. My hands are so dirty for makeup. But if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Leave me some comments down below about any products that you have any questions. I will link all any questions about i will link down all the products that i use down below and as always until next time stay classy